Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of World News by Billy, episode 52, today's date, August 21, 2023. Some of the things I'll be covering. Maui, was it Pearl Harbor like? Ukraine, Romania, Poland, Niger, Bulgaria, and South Korea. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers. Uh, before it's News 107, Sonar 21, Larry Johnson, Moon of Alabama, France 24, English, Sequel Site, Citizen Watch Report, Hal Turner, War News 24-7. So let's get started. I've got some new information on uh, Maui, and I'll put that out. I think that's... Certainly a big part of world news. Uh, certainly what's uh, one of the things on the minds of American citizens. What's going on? Okay. So we had uh, the Big Island, Hawaii. We've got Maui. We've got Oahu. Now under attack, also we understand, and uh, so this is going on. So we had a report from, uh, this is 107, but I've heard previous information coming from uh, uh, David Nuno Rodriguez had a recent interview with Kerry Cassidy and Michael Jaco and other sources, including Jean DeCode, yeah. Okay, so... It's believed these were uh, directed energy weapons. Uh, now 107 brings this information out, and it's something I've reported on several months ago about Chinese satellites and vehicles being over Hawaii, putting down green laser-like uh, uh, streams of light, which we understood were geo uh, uh, surveys of the land. So yeah, we know that's going on. It's also coming out, and I recorded my last video on U.S. News from JWTV that many of the sites in uh, Maui were burned in a circle. So that's going on. Now, uh, 107 says it's obvious it was directed energy of the U.S. military and the Space Force confirmed this, and I submit to you, the U.S. military and the Space Force also know who did this. Now, we have that other report from Sarge Intel. He was a um, previous military, now an attorney, has a truth or show that the U.S. military took down and kept from uh, firing uh additional uh, laser or other type uh, streams up on the Big Island, Hawaii, uh, Oahu, which we understand now is under attack, and other Hawaiian islands on which is located a lot of U.S. military locations. Now, the term being bandied is this attack on Maui was like Pearl Harbor. Now, I submit to you, Pearl Harbor had the U.S. government complicit with Japan, who both of who were operating under the deep state to drop those bombs on Pearl Harbor in uh, it's Pearl Harbor is actually in Oahu Island, Pearl Harbor. But the objective was to get the people into World War II. So we see we had a deep state government complicit with Japan uh, for the original Pearl Harbor. I submit to you, we have a similar circumstance uh, going on right now with the J.B. actor puppet avatar for the deep state, he wouldn't have been consulted. He's simply 
someone put out in front to say certain words. Now, 107 is also saying there was similar to Paradise, California fires. My Patriot subscribers also list other locations, Santa Rosa, Thousand Oaks, and others. Okay, so this has been going on. And now we have this. This is new information coming out from a pilot uh, who said over uh, Maui there is a no tam and it's from the ground up to 3,000 feet. That means a no fly area and it's Operational from August 14 at 4.30 p.m. to August 23 at 11.30 a.m. And that when you go back to look at the Maui Airport records on August 8, what you find, according to a pilot's report, is 30% have been scrubbed. And that would be information of who took off and who landed at the Maui airport. And also communications between pilots as to what they were seeing. So, what's going on? Yeah. I think the American people understand it was a deep state attack upon the American people. But we're beginning to wake up to history to understand we've had a lot of those going on. I'll now bring us an update on uh, Ukraine and other areas. We've got Belarus. Uh, Poland, that's Slovakia, Hungary, we've got Romania, Bulgaria, I'll be talking about these. Okay, so now we have this. Recently on August 16, we know that Russia has imposed a blockade of the Black Sea. And on August 16, they blew up. Here's Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael is a port that's at only a few kilometers from Romania. And uh, they blew up the port and some other things in Odessa. Now we have from multiple sources that Russia has blown up the ports and also the grain supplies because the grain was poisoned with arsenic by the deep state. Send that food out. If we can't kill them from the air, well, let's feed them poison. Okay. So Russia has been taking out the grain that's been poisoned by arsenic. And... Uh, so, yeah, they were shaking some things in Romania when they did that attack up on the uh, port. Now we have from Moon of Alabama. Yeah. So he put out, and he personally had information about Moon of Alabama is a retired German military officer who lives in the U.S. and has a truth or sight, Moon of Alabama. So he personally knew uh, the Joseph Schulte, S-C-H-U-L-T-E, uh, shipping company, and they had had a ship in the Odessa port since February of 2022, which is when the Military conflict began in Ukraine, and negotiations were successful, and the ship was released, and this Joseph Schulte issued a thank you to 
President Putin and to Chairman Z for arranging uh, for his cargo ship to be released. So yeah, that went on. And now we have this. So we have what's going on in uh, Ukraine and also affecting Poland. So we had on August 15, Russia did some bombing. This is Kiev, Lviv. This is very close to the Poland border. And they shook up. Uh, the bombs were close enough to the border that it shook villages in Poland. And one of the things that Russia took down was a factory. Use Hamas. Mash in this area, and they attacked with missiles. They also attacked several other locations in this area right here uh, that borders Russia, borders Poland, and they also hit a Sweden company that's producing bearings and this looks L-U-T-S-K. Took that out. And they took out some other things near Zaporonista and Donetsk. All right. On the 17th, Ukraine, the Ukraine military was trapped in an area called Kupiansk, and I'll show you where that is on the map. We have, we have this. So we have Bakhmut. Many of us are familiar with that. Near that is Kupiansk, Slavotorsk, Kramatorsk, all these towns. So the Ukraine military was trapped in Kupiansk on the 17th, and Russia captured 16 strongholds in 72 hours. What's going on? And then on the 17th, Russia uh, produced precision strikes on a Ukraine train and weapon depot near the Dnepro River that was 70 kilometers from the front line and destroyed that. On August 16, Russia hit a Ukraine army in the area of Donetsk, 310 killed. Also on August 16, Russian drones attacked Odessa which is a major port right here, Odessa. And they're still taking out more of the poisoned grain. All right, more news 24-7. Yeah, so a few days ago, NATO put forth to uh, Zelensky and the Ukraine government for... Ukraine to give up land to uh, Russia and end the conflict. And of course, reports are Z was furious. Z is an actual puppet avatar for the deep state too, just like JB. So these are reports. But nevertheless, NATO did put forth a public information about asking Ukraine to give up land to Russia. Now what they wanted to give Russia were the locations that Russia has already annexed based on the vote of people, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhzhia, Kherson. And then they were going to take a small area in this uh, along here, along the Oskol River. And this was unacceptable to 
Ukraine and unacceptable to Russia. Now we have this. So a few days ago, Poland moved troops. So let me clear the board so we can find out what it is Poland is doing. Because they're moving some heavy duty uh, troops and supplies. So we've got Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporonista, Kherson. Okay, so Poland a few days ago was moving three divisions of troops which is about 15,000 troops, and they were moving them along the Suwaki Gap. And now I'll draw this for you. So we have uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Right here we have Kaliningrad, which is a Russian enclave. Between Lithuania and Poland, we have what's called the Suwaki Corridor. And so we're told uh, Poland moved here and also along its border with uh, Belarus. They moved 15,000 troops. Yeah. Uh, 15,000 to the Suwaki Gap and 10,000 with their border with Belarus. So that's 25,000 troops into this area is called Grodnoy and also Brest. And it's right on the border of Belarus with Poland. And in that area, Poland is deploying military uh, air force near the border, airborne brigades. And the Poland military leader, Brasek, you know, is all in on beginning this armed conflict. Now, Poland in this area between the Suwaki Gap and also the border with Belarus has set up uh, an area 400 kilometers wide or 150 kilometers deep or in miles, a area 249 miles wide and 93 miles deep. And on the Belarus border, there are 50 to 250,000 troops. So that's going on. And now, yeah, so we've got that going on. And we had a report from uh, uh, Anaya K. She's a Polish journalist who had been reporting from Moscow. I understand she's back in Poland. But one of the things she published is, Poland, is this what you want to see? Body bags of your soldiers coming from Ukraine? Absolutely. So that's going on. And now we have this. What's going on in Africa? Because we know the deep state has got to get some kind of World War III going. If they can't do it here in Ukraine, then maybe Africa might be a better choice. But they've got to get something going, and they have a deadline, August 22nd, when the BRICS are going to put out their gold-backed global currency. It's all about money, baby. All right. So in Africa, we've got Niger. We know they had a military coup, took out the deep state individual. And now we have other countries getting involved. And what's going on? And we know that Victoria Newland went to Nigeria, or I think she actually went into Niger, to say to Niger, 
take our U.S. money and and uh, put in our deep state choice for your government. And the Niger government declined. And for my money now, and looking at Victoria Newland, I'm not too sure that's the original Victoria Newland. So just saying. Now, so she was out, and we have this. Who's going into Niger? According to Hal Turner's report, we had a group from the Wagner PMC, that's a private military company uh, backed by and organized and funded by the Russian government, uh, who set down in Mali by plane and they brought in hundreds of the Wagner PMC. They're going to Niger, to their capital. They'll be in charge also of their military. Now, previous to this, they had been in Syria, where Victoria Newland and the deep state have wanted to take down Assad. He's still there, plus the Wagner group had trained thousands of soldiers in that area. So Wagner is going to Niger and the Wagner group said uh, they will actively fight the U.S. government military uh, if they initiate a strike. Inside Niger right now we have U.S. military 1100. So they're there. And the countries that support Niger are Mali, Libya, Sudan, Central African Republic, Mozambique, and the Congo. Now we understand that in Nigeria they have a military of 230,000 uh, they're aligned with this equal loss of African groups who are saying and is being reported on France English 24 and other sources that they have a D-Day already selected when they're going into Niger to uh, attack and remove and their current military and government. So, yeah, that's going on. And now we have this. All right, now, we have also the deep state not only trying to take over Africa and rule that, so we have Ukraine, We've got Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria. Now, Bulgaria is a member of NATO, but they've begun to push back Bulgaria, so NATO is going to overthrow their government in Bulgaria. And uh, they're going in on Thursday, August, 24. I submit to you uh, that could be also the day that uh, the militaries in Africa are going to attack Niger. And now we have this going on. So this is also reported by Hal Turner, South Korea, and the U.S or to have a joint uh, nuclear uh, exercise. And it's being planned for the days of August 21 through the 23, corresponding to the BRICS. August 22, naming a gold, back, gold currency all over the world. And what they're doing on August 23 at 2 p.m., 
There's going to be a joint exercise between the U.S. and South Korea nuclear uh, event. And on that same day, the 51 million South Korean people are to go into their bunkers. And they're to practice doing that in 20 minutes. I submit to you, I reported on this a few weeks ago when they did the practice. So the chatter is uh, highly likely that the deep state will launch some type of nuke or thermobaric bomb or whatever, blame it on North Korea and have it a hit in South Korea, but they will have the people in the bunker. So what's going on? Okay, a short prayer. I'll use the modified General Patton prayer from World War II. Father, grant us fair weather for battle. Guide us from victory to victory and crush our enemies, domestic, foreign, and off-world, and all of deep state. And we thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.